A bipartisan group of senators a short while ago backing legislation that would cut funding for holding 9-11 terror trials in civilian courts. This, as reports indicate the Obama administration, is reconsidering the decision to try the confessed mastermind and his four alleged accomplices in New York City. Senator Lindsey Graham, a sponsor of the bill cutting off the funding, didn't have to reach back far to illustrate his preference for trying the suspects before a military commission. Just look at what happened with the Christmas Day bomber. An opportunity lost. Someone fresh off the battlefield failed in his attempt to kill innocent civilians, captured fresh off the battlefield in the war on terror, and within less than an hour read his Miranda rights and shut up. How much intelligence did we lose? Joining us now, a co-sponsor of the bill, someone who is also part of today's announcement, Senator Saxby Chambliss. The Georgia Republican sits on the Armed Services Committee in the U.S. Senate. The Senator Chambliss, we all remember when uh, Attorney General Eric Holder so famously announced that uh, the administration wants to hold these trials in civilian court and, frankly, right here in New York City. What you're saying uh, through this bill is that, okay, administration, you can hold those trials if you want to. We're just not going to pay for them? Well, it's going to be more than that. This is a way to get at and a way to cut off the funding, which will, in effect, not allow them to try these individuals inside the United States. Now, when the Attorney General made that announcement, John, uh, those of us who've been involved in the intelligence community and the armed services community knew then that this was a terrible decision. And it turns out that it was a decision that was not very well thought through. There was not the right kind of consultation with law enforcement officials in New York City as well as a political structure within New York City. Uh, this is not the way to treat individuals who masterminded the killing and harming of over 3,000 Americans and who are directly responsible for the fact that today we are engaged in a military conflict in both Iraq and Afghanistan. There seems to be a lot of rethinking, as I mentioned, going on in the administration as to whether those trials should be held in New York City or elsewhere. The president, one of his first uh, announcements when he took the job was saying that Guantanamo Bay is going to be closed. Uh, he hasn't gotten it done in the year that he had allotted. Is it possible, you think, that the, the trials could wind up being held at Guantanamo Bay? Well, that's where they should be held. The decision by the president the day he was sworn in to announce he was going to close Guantanamo in a year again was not a very well thought out decision. Um, there was no plan in place. There still is no plan in place as to what you're going to do with those individuals who are housed at Guantanamo. And look, John, we've gone down there and we have spent millions of taxpayer dollars both building a state of the art facility to house those individuals, but also there's a very state-of-the-art facility from a judicial standpoint to try all of these individuals under the um, uh, Military Justice Act. And, you know, uh, the Military Commissions Act was improved last year. It was modified from the previous bill we passed. And it was designed specifically to try these individuals who are housed at Guantanamo, as well as other individuals that are captured on the battlefield. And, you know, why in the world do we want to bring these five individuals to New York City, give them constitutional rights that are guaranteed to American citizens versus trying individuals that in the future will be captured on the battlefield and bringing them in to be tried at Guantanamo under the Military Commissions Act? Makes no sense at all. And worth pointing out, uh, this is not a Republican-only move. You have the support of a couple of uh, key Democrats. Jim Webb of Virginia and Blanche Lincoln of Arkansas. Senator Saxby Chambliss of Georgia, thank you. Thanks, John. Senator Lincoln, whom I just mentioned, is one of the more